Hey, what is up guys? Alex here from TechnoClass.com. This is just a quickie video that I don't want to edit or anything. Um, this is a first impressions of the Hori PS Vita Remote Play Assistant uh, grip. This was uh, launched uh, this September 2016. And it's priced at 1,395 pesos or about $30 in the United States and other countries. You do have to import this. This is a Japanese product. No um, international variants just yet. But it fits the uh, Vita 2000, not the 1000. A lot of people are still fans of the OLED. Sorry about the scratched up screen here. It's got a screen protector. Don't worry about it. Anyway, this is my Vita 2000 and this is the grip itself. As you can see, it is a actually a very nice plastic. Um, oh, the flash is on on my phone. There we go. Yes, I'm recording this on my phone. So uh, here is the grip itself. And to be honest, I think this is probably one of the uh, more comfortable grips uh, I've tried. This feels a lot like the, um, the PS4 controller to me. Now, as you can see, uh, because it is the new Hori Grip thingamajig remote play assistant, it's got more buttons. It's got four buttons. Two on top, the L2, R2 actually touch it, this uh, it sort of indents this little area right here on top of the right, top right of the, the touch pad on the Vita itself and the R3 L3 touches the bottom right and bottom left of the touch yeah, hope there we go we can I can apparently adjust the focus on my phone anyway so that's what it does so you know what it does already that you've read the news this is the clip that holds your Vita in it has little foam on it to keep your Vita safe safe and that's basically it you know there's foam on the bottom as well and it's a bit it's it's a plastic material pretty solid feeling it feels like a class a controller pretty much like Hori's controllers in my opinion uh, and it's built pretty solid as you can see you can sort of, yeah you can you can you don't you can't bend it pretty much so it feels pretty good pretty solid the buttons feel pretty good and the handling of it is pretty good. I'll put on the Vita and you'll see what it, uh, how you put it on. So I, I put in the Vita like this and there's the uh, slot for your games and then you close it like this. Let's close it pretty, you know, it's a nice uh, reassuring click and here is your Vita. Now everything feels in place, your thumbsticks, your buttons, even your L1 and R, R1 and everything in place. You can even put in your charger or your headphones. And I do believe it leaves the microphone open as well. So everything, all of the buttons are available to be seen and used. The camera is available as well. Now, um, the thing is, uh, what it's supposed to do is help you play remote play games uh, because particularly Vita games, well, actually, in some cases, it might even work with Vita games. I'm not... I'm not an expert at this thing. So we'll go to the Vita menus here and I'll show you what it looks like. So as you can see, you can still use the Vita, no problem. Um, now the Vita has limited use for R2, L2, but it does use the back touch screens. I don't want to load Borderlands because it's going to take a while. I have Borderlands 2 in here on my Vita. However, Borderlands 2 is one of those games that program their game, at least on the Vita side, program their game um, to only use the front uh, touchpads for R3, L3 and the back touchpads for R2, L2, which means I'm not running it. I'm not going to show you, um, which means you can't actually adjust the th the R3 L3 to re to work on the V on the border on Borderlands 2. It's a lot of it's a bit of a bummer, especially because a lot of games don't actually do what it's what it's required to do to give us the R2 uh, R3 L3 buttons, except for certain games like this. I'm playing a zombie, and let's press X to continue, and you'll see that. Zombie actually has, of course, the uh, movement right here, or the aiming and the movement on the left thumbstick. It has, I'm not sure what this does. Oh, it, what is that, a camera? Yeah. 
and uh, that's L1 on the on the actual PS4. This is a PS4 game, not a Vita game. I'm running on the remote play right now, and this turns around. Aiming is on the back touch panel on the top left, which is your L2. So as you can see, I can aim, and then the right top touch panel on the back is your attack. It is the actual uh, controls on the, uh, the Dual Shock 4 um, replicated on the back touch points of your Vita when remote playing. Sorry, this is a little bit confusing, but I know. But if you have a Vita, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's the touch points that trigger R2 and L2 are on the top parts. But and this is one of those games that does it right because the, the the R3 L3 of the thumbsticks on the DS4, which you can't click on a Vita, is on the bottom of the back touchpads, as you can see right here. The bottom uh, or the basically the L3 functionality is run. So if I move right here and I and I trigger the bottom left button, I start to run. It's the uh, equivalent of our L3. Now, R3 is the flashlight, so I'll trigger the flashlight right now. There you go. So, this is one of those super rare, well, I don't know, I haven't actually played around with, I don't have that many games, but I wanted to play remote play stuff on my PS4. Unfortunately, stuff like um, Borderlands 2 has wrongly programmed uh, the touch controls on a Vita for remote play. That I believe, if I remember correctly, the attack or the the L3 R3 are on the front touch screen, which this controller or this grip does not have. It de doesn't touch your front screen. I I actually hoped it did. It hope I hope it had like a, like a small little circle here that goes from the bottom of the bottom of the screen that you can touch. But no, you still have to touch the touch screen if you want to do that. But at least on games like Zombie, I'm not sure. I'm sorry if I don't have enough games to test it out yet. I've only had this. Uh, little grip for like i don't know uh actually half a, well since yesterday but i've only tried it for like more than uh more than a couple hours pretty much but at least on a game like zombie which i am looking forward to be playing i'm not a, particularly a fan of it but at least it's a game i can play on remote play with the vita grip now I'm not saying that's a, a bad thing that you can only play uh, or you can only use the uh, L3, R3 buttons on specific games. I do still appreciate the R2, L2, with, but that's not a new feature. There's a bunch of grips out there that does touch the R2, L2. However, this grip is also a very high quality grip. And in my opinion, this is one of the better feeling ones compared to the several other grips that I've seen out there. I've not tried them, but in my opinion, this looks a lot more ergonomic and <laughs> actually feels pretty good compared to them. Now, it is a little bit slippery. I wish they added a little bit of rubber here, but you know, I don't think it'll fall off your hand, but if you're holding it with one hand, you could theoretically let it slip because there is no grip you know ps4 controllers you can just hold it one hand and do something else because they have grips on them these are you know kind of quote unquote grips but not actually rubbery grips that will stick to your hand but that is a minor complaint i think this is an excellent excellent product and i just hope that sony gets their sort of uh remote play vita controls and even vita games to use the back touchpad or at least customize the ways your touchpads work to emulate the l2 r2 r3 l2 buttons and tell your vita console or whatever or reassign your vita console to set where those buttons are and in particular set those on the back touchpad or in the corners so you can use the hori uh vita remote play gamepad grip thingamajig sorry this is a long video but that's how i feel it's a great grip and it does the job unfortunately sony in particular in particular does not have the perfect functionality or the perfect implementation on all the games it's like you know hit or miss on the games and I wanted to play Borderlands 2 with L3 R3 unfortunately I do have to press the 
the touch screen for that because the Borderlands 2, there's no re there's no way to actually you know reorient them to the back corners. Uh, it's just a little bit annoying. I actually thought that was going to be the case, but anyway. Um, that's the uh, quick impressions. Actually, it wasn't so quick, but hopefully you get all the points that I wanted to get across. Thank you very much for watching. If you are, if you like this video, if it helped you out, you know, it's a new product. So if a lot of people will be wondering about what you can do with it, unfortunately, it's not available for the OLED Vita. Um, but you know, it, the, the OLED Vita has been phased out. So maybe it's time to upgrade. I don't know. It's getting cheaper now. So... That's beyond the point. Alex from attacknoclass.com here. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.